Hi, my name is Michelle, and I am excited to show you around Moxie. Let's take a quick tour of kind of the outside bits here. Uh, this is your left nav where you'll easily get to all of the features that we have in Moxie. This is your workspace settings. So if you need to set something up, um, pretty much everything is customizable. So if you want to make something, it probably lives here in your workspace settings. This is also how if someone has invited you to join Moxie, you'll swap to their workspace using these arrows to swap to whichever workspace you want to work in. You'll have a personal one. And if you were invited as a collaborator or a team member, you will also have a workspace that is for uh, whichever team you have been invited to join. Here in the upper right, this is your time tracker. You'll use that to uh, start a quick timer if you want to track in real time. Uh, you can also start from a previous client uh, over the last couple of uh, days here, and you can click a quick start from anything that you've used. This is your communicator where you can uh, make a phone call or send messages. You can keep quick notes, to dos, and your schedule here as well. And you'll You'll also see your notifications here, like when a meeting gets scheduled or when you receive a payment. And if you ever have any questions, this is your lifeline. You'll find your help center here, as well as a way to uh, chat with us, which is kind of buried here underneath um, my picture. But that is the help center. You will find everything that you need to know in your help center. Let's get started here in your home base. So this is where you will find your focus tab. I live and die here where you can see all of the tasks that you have created. If they have dates, they will show up here in your work to be done. Uh, we have it categorized by things due today, due this week, and things due next week for however much you like to uh, know and look ahead. We have our calendar here where you can see as much or as little as you want using the these filters. So uh, you can choose to see just project tasks and where they lay out. You can choose to see just the time that you have worked or when invoices are have been sent or paid. You can also show your to do's here if you have added dates to your to do's or check out everything overlaid all together, including your meetings and your projects so that you never get overloaded on a single day. We have our insights as well. This gives you a quick overview of where your time and money is going and your true hourly rate, something that's so important for every freelancer to know how much money they are actually making in their business based off of how much time they are working. We also have uh, this clients here in the left nav. This is where you will see all of your clients. You can also use filters in pretty much everywhere in the app to say, I just want to see certain records. In this case, we'll look at all of our clients here. You can click into any client and in this file is where you'll have all of the information, everything that you're working on with them in one place. So you can see here all of these tabs. This gives you a quick overview. You can add in uh, quick contact information. You can add in necessary contacts. You can add files and take quick notes and get insights and see the projects that you're working on with this client all in this client file. In addition, your invoices and deposits will live here, your universal inbox. So any of these clients, contacts that you've added, if you want to see just the communication between you and these contacts, that will be here in your client specific inbox. Uh, this will show you texts and uh, emails that and calls if you have added that contact information. You can also see the time worked. And if you work with a collaborator, you'll be able to see their time worked here as well. And you'll be able to see which projects are taking up most of your time and if you have any unbilled work as well. You'll also be able to see your agreements and the statement and the, the state that they are in, whether they've been sent or drafted or if they're fully executed. If you've created an agreement with your client, which of course you should always have a written agreement, you'll be able to keep track of that here and you'll never have to go back through your email again and say, oh my goodness, where is the contract that we signed with each other? 
Here in your forms, you'll also see if a form has been filled out by a client, it will live here in your clients. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And if any meetings have been scheduled with this client, you'll see those here as well. So you never lose track. Everything is all in one place here with your clients. You can also get to projects here, or if you want to just dive into project management, that's here on the left nav as well. You'll be able to see an overview of all of the projects, or you'll be able to see tasks here as well. You can choose the layout that you like. If a full list is a, a little bit too much for you and reminds you of Excel and you hate Excel, don't worry. We also have a card view as well as a timeline view so that you can see where things are stacking up as it lays out on a timeline. This works just like any other Kanban that you have used. You can click and drag the cards and you can reorder them as well if you wanna set them in order of priority. You'll set up these statuses as well. These are all custom to you. So if you wanna add a new status, you can do that here. And then you can use this to create your custom workflow so that you know exactly what's going on with your projects. Within each of these tasks, you can set statuses, you can assign to a collaborator if you have it. You can set up a start date and a due date if you'd like to see track time to this specific task. You can do that manually here or again, you'll be able to do that with the quick timer. Add in subtasks, attach any files, and even add comments here. You can see, you can have an app mention. If you are collaborating, you can let them know that this work is done. And take notes back and forth that way. And then all of your communication around a certain task will be kept in one place without you having to wonder which email address or Slack channel you're using. Everything lives here in one place. And then you can update your status here as well. Let's go on to inboxes. Uh, this is your universal inbox. So you'll see if you get um, a text message or a phone call or an email, all of that will show here. So for those clients who insist on texting you, that's okay. That's going to show up here in your Moxie universal inbox. And you can filter this out so you don't get too overwhelmed. You can choose to see certain clients or certain channels if you prefer. Your sales pipeline helps you to build a sustainable freelance business. You can hook this up with workflow automations and make your sales pipeline work for you. So you'll create each of these stages to be custom. And within each of these opportunities, you can keep all of the details. It's very similar to the way that it looks in clients where all of the details for future opportunities and prospects are also kept here all together. So you get an overview, your estimated value, an estimated close date. You can keep notes, you can add them yourself, or you'll get some auto created uh, depending on the automations that you're using Add attachments. You'll be able to see the activity here. So this this particular version of this opportunity came in from a, an embedded form. We'll talk more about forms in a moment, but you'll be able to keep track of all of those things in your sales pipeline. And so you never lose information about a lead. You'll also have lead information and you'll be able to see if any of these opportunities have gone through an automation and how that automation is going. We can talk more about those things soon, uh, but we also want to take a quick look at this forecast. To know when you are able to take on more work is a huge gift that we want to give to you here at Moxie. So you can see when you are going to be doing a lot of work and uh, when you're going to be getting paid a lot of money and when maybe you need to take on some more work so that you can make the money that you need to support um, the things that you want to do. Super important. We're really proud and so excited for you to work on this sales pipeline so that you can always make sure that you know the work that is coming uh, for your business so that you get to stay a freelancer as long as you choose to be a freelancer. We have our accounting suite, which includes invoices, 
as well as payments and income. So if you get income in another way besides an invoice, that's where you can use this payments and income. When it comes to invoices, we will help you keep track of the work that you have already invoiced. So when you use project management and time tracking, everything works all together to make your invoices a snap. You'll get these professional invoices that will automatically track late fees based on what you have already set up in your agreements. You can add in ad hoc line items. And if you use the same one over and over again, you will easily have it here in your product and service library. Or you can create something new, add in your rate, and what it's for, and then you can quickly add that to an invoice as well. You can also add in tracked items. So if you are working hourly and you have some hours that are unbilled, or if you work based on projects or uh, on a retainer, then you will see each of the things that remains unbilled uh, that hasn't been added to an invoice. So those, uh, you don't have to keep track of, did I bill for that already? You'll be able to see that here by adding tracked hours or billable projects. Same for deposits. If you request a deposit from your client and there's still a deposit credit, you, you'll see this button here. If there isn't a deposit or there's no money left, you won't see this button. Moxie will keep track of all of those things for you. And then you can easily share this either via an email or by downloading a PDF and sending it yourself. And you'll get a quick overview here in invoices of the status of each invoice. So whether it's late in draft or paid or it's been sent, you'll be able to see what is happening with all of your invoices. We also help you track your expenses. And this is important because we, you want to know where your money is going. So when you have fees or if you have any subscriptions, you can track that here by adding a recurring expense as well. You can keep track of your vendors, the things and people that you pay the most often uh, as your vendors. And then when you use expenses and your invoices to track the money coming in and the money going out, you'll get a full profit and loss report that lets you know how profitable your business is. This will help you to know when it's time to raise your rates or when it's time to take on some more work. As we talk about all the time, you should never work without a contract. We all know these things. Uh, this is where you can have a proposal, a quote, or a, con uh, a contract. A proposal, uh, if you choose that as your default, you'll get a bunch of automatic things created like these text boxes and you'll have some of these deliverable packages, your products, uh, your, your project packages created here. And you can set up fees uh, however you like to bill. So this will let your client know, this is the work that we are agreeing on doing. Here is the amount that you are going to pay me. And here are some of the tasks that live underneath that. You can use your written agreements to have your clients choose. Yes, they um, are doing just one of these packages. You can allow them to choose multiple packages and upgrades, or you can require each package, whatever works for you and your business. You can also add to your written agreements that it needs to be paid before the agreement can be signed. You do that by clicking insert block. I'll show you real quick here without this section. You can click insert block and you'll see integrated payment. That will add here that they have to enter their information in order to sign and complete this contract. You can also add in these legal contract terms. That will be here in this insert block. Since it's already here, it won't show up. Here it is, the legal and payment contract terms. And these contract terms will be added. They're made to protect you. And you can use e-signatures as well. So you can sign your client can sign and now you have a fully executed contract that allows you to be protected uh, from uh, scope creep and anything else that might come your way. You have um, some protection that you've created because you should absolutely work with a contract. Uh, I'll show you quickly with a quote. You can also add in those legal terms and with a quote, you simply get an accept uh, button for your clients. So if you prefer not to mess with e-signatures, you can also use a quick quote as well. 
We have uh, our time tracking. And so, of course, you can track time up here with the quick timer. You can also add it manually uh, here in Timesheets and also in tons of other places in the app. This plus button, uh, if you see it, will be hugely helpful. You can usually add and do lots of things from there. So you'll be able to see in your Timesheets uh, where your time is going, how much you've been working, and which clients are taking up most of your time. From here, you can use these filters to show just which user you'd like to see, uh, the clients that you'd like to look at, or choose a date range. And when you're looking at that date range, you can also use this button to export any timesheets if uh, one of your clients requires uh, seeing an exact timesheet. You can give your clients tons of details as well, not just the start and end time and uh, the user, but also you can put in your client, project, and task, as well as notes about the time that's been worked. Then those can easily be added to your invoice and your client will be able to see exactly what you've been working on. In your workspace settings, this is where you'll set up a ton of things from your client portal. Uh, this is where you and your clients can work together. You can allow them permissions to see um, only the pieces that you'd like. So grant feature, access uh, to projects, invoices, your written agreements, time worked, meetings, tickets and requests, or turn a few off if they don't need to see the time that you're working. Make it easy for your clients and easy for yourself to see exactly what they need to. And customize your client portal with your branding and your colors. This is also where you'll manage if you want a custom email or a custom domain. Here's where you're set up your uh, communicator. Uh, if you are in the US and Canada, you can also get a, a business phone number, which also allows you to have on and off hours because you're a business. So you get to have time where you don't answer the phone, but you have a voicemail greeting recorded instead. You can set up requests and tickets. So uh, create these custom forms and then your clients will fill those out in order uh, to create a request or a ticket for work with you. That's all managed in your client portal as well. Uh, here's where you can set up your sales pipeline. Uh, you have custom fields as well as custom stages. You'll set up your uh, meeting scheduler as well. So if you have, uh, you can set up the time that you're available and allow your clients to schedule meetings with you without having the back and forth of when are you available? When are you available? Set up just your availability and have it check availability against one of your connected calendars as well. You can add in a custom form so you get the information that you need and you can also require payment for a, a client to book one of these meetings with you. Uh, you'll also have custom forms. We have revamped our form builder and you can create custom forms that you use for discovery or for uh, question questionnaires for your clients or anything that you would use a form for. These can be shared with a link or they can be embedded directly into your website. We have email templates, agreement templates, and project templates. So for all of those things that you do over and over and over again, you can create a template here and easily use all of these throughout the app. We also have workflow automation. So when it comes to your sales pipeline, you can create automation so that when someone submits a form uh, that you can check that form to see, oh, is this a qualified lead because their budget matches my, uh, my needs or is it not? And then you can automatically send a, a follow-up correctly. Uh, we'll do in-depth videos on each of those pieces and you'll be able to find those in the Help Center. This is a super quick, not so quick overview. Thanks if you are still here somehow 18 minutes into this video. Uh, that is a quick, quick overview of all of the things that Moxie's stupid good tools can do for freelancers. It is built to support your business as you begin and as you grow. If you have questions or if you want to dive deep into any of the other features, you can always find more information here in our help center. Simply click on that question mark. You can go into each of the features. There are more videos and you can always chat with us as well.